Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to use row reduction to find the inverse of the metric 121, 131, 201. To do this, let's look at the solution. The procedure by row reduction is this. You write down the augmented metric with A and the identity metric I. Alright, same size, identity metric I. Then you proceed to do the row operation until you get the left hand side becomes identity and then the right hand side is the A inverse. Alright, this is how we find the A inverse if this is possible. So I write the augmented metric. Left side is A, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 0, 1. And the right side is identity metric 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, I got no, the second row, first column to be 0. So I take minus 1 times first row, add to second row. Now, this will give me the first row remain unchanged, and the third row remain unchanged. However, the first row will change to 0 as minus 1 times 1, add to 1, get 0. Minus, two time, minus 1 times 2, add to 3, you get 1. Minus 1 times 1, add to 1, you get 0. Minus 1 times 1, add to 0, you get 1. And then the rest are all the same. Convert the 2 to 0 now. Right, we need to convert the 2 to 0, reduce the eliminate 2 to 0. So what we can do now is take the minus 2 times the first row and add to the third row. And this will give us, and third row becomes 1 times minus 2, add to third row, get 0. Minus 2, 2 times minus 2, right, add to third row, get minus 4. Minus 2 times 1, you get minus 2, add to third row, you get minus 1. Minus 2 times 1, add to the third row, you get minus 2, and then 0, 1. So I have finished the leading one in the first row, and 0 below it. And then I also have a 1 in the second row, which is just nice. So all I need now is make sure that everything below leading 1, both leading 1 are 0. So I want to turn the minus 4 to 0 now. So I take 4 times row 2, add to the third row. So the first row will remain unchanged. The second row remains unchanged. The third row becomes 0, 0 as 1 times 4, add to minus 4, 0, minus 1. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4, add to minus 2, get minus 6. And 4 times 1 is 4, add to 0 is 4, and it's 1. So now, all I need now is make sure that these two adopt above the leading one is the low. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take the second row times minus two, add to the first row. So this will give me the third row remain unchanged. The second row remain unchanged. But the first row becomes 1, 0, 1, and minus 1 times minus 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. Minus 2 times 1, add to the first row, you get minus 2, and 0. So I have finished the first two columns. Now I want to make the minus 1 to be a leading 1. And change it to be 1, so they become identity. So I can take the third row times minus 1. So after I take the third row times minus 1, I'm going to get the first row remain unchanged. The second row remain unchanged. And the third row becomes 0, 0, 1, 6, minus 4, minus 1. So now I have a leading one at the third row. I need to make sure that this one here above 0 above leading one is zero. So copy the metric now. So I need to do third row times minus one add to the first row. And this will give me uh, the first row become one zero zero as the third row times minus one. So 
6 times minus 1 plus 3 get minus 3. Minus 4 times minus 1 is 4. 4 plus minus 2 is 2. Minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. Add to the first row is 1. Therefore, I have achieved the identity and the other side is A inverse now. So the A inverse, I get A inverse is this metric now. Minus 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, and 6, minus 4, minus 1. So now I'm going to check the answer by using calculator. Checking my calculator, this is my original metric 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 0, 1. I call my calculator now, press my node, and then run, and then I want to enter the metric, press F1. So enter the metric now. It's a 3x3 three three metric. I enter the entry. 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 0, 1. Alright. After I finish, enter the metric early. Let me press exit. And then exit again. I want to do some metric calculation. So I take option, metric, F1, then alpha A. I want to find the inverse. So I can find the inverse of the metric by doing this, raise the power, minus 1. Alright, so this will give me execute. And then uh, and let's compare the answer we obtained just now. The inverse is this one. Minus 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 6, minus 4, minus 1. That's the end of the recording.